so we are gonna create the table component as a functional component and I use Pascal naming convention to name my components so we name it table with capital T and we will use bootstrap table to display the tabular data so let's go to bootstrap 5 website and look at the structure of the table so look here we have table tag with class name table then inside it we have t head and then inside t head we have tr and th tags which stands for table row and table head and with t head tag we have t body tag inside t body tag we have tr and then td tags so we are gonna use zen coding to achieve the following format so first of all we are gonna remove the default div container and add the table using zen coding so first we have table with class name table then inside it we have t head then inside it we have tr then inside it we have th with class name p3 five times so this p3 is used for applying some padding to our th tag and then with t head we have t body tag inside t body we have tr and then five times td tags and now hit enter see our structure is ready so this is so simple to achieve with zen coding otherwise we had to type all the code with hand and this would take a lot of our time so first table head that is th will be our id then we have name then we have phone then we have email and at last we have sign up date and our structure is now ready so now we will use it in our app.js module so we will go to app.js and use it inside our div container and see the auto import automatically imported the table component we will remove class name of our div and add the container class of the bootstrap to it and now we will see the result in the browser so here in the browser everything works till now so we will go to our table component and render our t body with users data but we are not gonna import users data directly in our table component but we want our table component to be controlled component and we will control everything from app.js so we will pass the users data from app.js to table component as props so that we can control everything from there and also we are not gonna export the users data from users.js directly we are gonna make a method get users in users.js to get the users from users.js in real world projects we have to get the data from backend so we need not to implement it this way but in this project we have to implement it this way since we are only integrating pagination we will return users from get users method and now we will go to app.js and import this method and pass it as props name users in the table component and note here we are calling the get users method to get the users and now we are going to table component and render this data using tbody tag so we are gonna call the props.users.map method to iterate over our data and get the user and return the tr tag from it now we will assign user.id to key of tr tag and use our users data to be rendered inside our td tag so first data inside our td tag will be user.id second will be user.full name third will be user.full mobile number fourth will be user.email and at last fifth will be our user dot sign up date so our implementation for the table component is now complete so let's see the result up to this point in the browser so here you can see all the data is rendered properly and here you can see all the 50 users data is rendered so here we want to apply pagination so that all the 50 users data is not rendered at the same time but rendered using our pagination here I can see one problem that our data is left aligned so to align it we will apply a class text-center to our table tag 
and now let's see the data in the browser again see now everything here is center aligned so everything is working perfectly